So, we got some lemon. We squeeze it in there, and we want to really bruise the skin. We want that skin to yield its oils. So I bruise it, and I take it, and I run it around the rim. Then, I take some orange syrup, which you can also obtain by taking a lemon wedge and doing the same thing. So there's a little bit of orange. Now this is Angostura bitters, a unique concoction that's been popular since the 1700s for mixology and drinks. Then we take the brandy. Somebody get me the brandy, please. And this is just plain Jane. Ernest and Julio Gallo. More bang for the buck, but we've rendered it way smooth by putting 5%, if that, red wine. Any red wine will do. There's an ounce and a half, which is a jigger, and another half an ounce. And in addition, we need some sweet. Up here is something called grenadine syrup. And you can also use maraschino cherries and a tiny bit of the cherry juice. In previous experience, I know that this is easy to overdo. Less is more. Hmm. So, here we go. Lemon, orange, bitters, and 7-Up. Two ounces of brandy, and we're going to use seven ice cubes. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And then we're going to take a little bit of seven up. We're going to give it a stir. And we have a brandy old fashioned sweet. Wisconsin drinks more fucking brandy every year than the rest of the United States. Put now, is, it, is it traditional to stir it with a knife? 